Lovely. The docks okay. The Thoughts on the map? I think it can be hard for newer players because it's it's like an open adventure map, right? It's very open and you can go wherever you want. So it, a lot of time yes. people will also waste a lot of time going around and they'll spawn extra specials and hearts and get it sort of become a game of attrition if they're not very effective in their rooting. Yeah. Left versus right first. Um, Most people go right. No second. But. Uh, yeah, that's also the we run off. Let's carry on chatting. Like normally, uh, I'll hit that chest, the two chests in front, and then come back. Uh, all the chests in the middle, there's like nothing in them. There's never anything in any of those middle chests. So, only worth visiting on a chest contract, or if you're Someone who brings a luck stone. Most of the time, you don't even need to hit the middle chest for oh, contracts. So we are. Yeah. Yeah. This map's right. chest contract is only ten chests. There's way more than that in the map. About this map spawns. Before you go to either warehouses. Sixteen there, chests. Yeah. And before you go to either chests. warehouses, yeah. there are no extra spawns. There's only the ambience, which there are quite a yeah. few of, since there's quite a bit of an area. So if you want to be methodical about it, you can clear out quite a bit of the, the ambience before proceeding to either warehouses to clear yourself some space. It'll still After spot you clear, specials. Yes, there are still special. Yes. Cool. <laughs> After you clear one warehouse, there will be constant trickles that will come at you until you do the second one. And then after the second one, then there's the whole event and ogre and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. There's no holes. There's also no holes the... during the entire map. There's no pacing during the entire map at all. There's only the events and the, the ambience. So that chest, there's items spawn there sometimes. And do you know the jump from this chest? Yep. Not useful in most cases. But... Speed. Stand on here. Dodge jump. And you're up. Come black rat. Taste steel. Wait. It's far in the middle. The I suck. Another sneak rat dead. Man, I used to be able to do it. So who is the barrel thrower? It's a good idea to decide who's going to be the barrel thrower first. Yeah. The person who can land have someone, on. have someone who knows how to throw them efficiently. I can throw them. I know exactly how to do them, but it might be way more worthwhile to have someone who's uh, got a camera yeah, perspective I think the, to do it. General yeah, I can't throw it because I don't have a dot on my melee right now. <laughs> but, yeah, if... Like, literally the whole setup for this. Double gas. That's nice. Yeah. Is like, the most, most of the team stay by the first barrel and one person throws. Then all the rats will path. Yeah, this event becomes significantly easier if you nail the barrels like this. You can have yeah. someone like waiting more down, but yeah. none of it if like the thrower yeah. is inexperienced and just throws them as oddly. Yeah. Since then you can just catch them and finish it off. Yeah. The reason why I'm here die is like even on onslaught, the rats will path up uh, where Grim is to me, and I'm standing here. Anything, any specials coming through that door, which is the only special spawn point, they're gonna die. Nailing the last barrel is a lot, <laughs> a lot more difficult, yeah. and it's usually not yeah. worth trying if you're not very really comfortable with it. So, yep. Yeah. Since there's, you a, don't need to there's go a couple of ways to do it and do it normally. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he stole the barrel off me. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll place it here so we can. Uh, join. Yeah, and usually the the, the uh, like way that it's made to be placed is this small thing here that allows you to have a clear yeah. line of yeah. sight to throw it. The the way I do it is I'll jump up here with the last barrel and throw it in. And of course, there's a chest over there. That's one of the chests that will spawn stuff. Uh, coming out of here, a lot of people stand and fight. If you push off back this way. You're not fighting on a slope, you're not getting surrounded, you're not picking yeah, up any The warehouse only collapses here. once you've actually gone away from it, so... And yeah. it also kills all the rats. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, not all the rats. The other one does. Oh. Hold your nerve. They can't march us. Guaranteed ammo box always there. The chests in this area uh, never have anything other than uh, yeah, the Yeah, the chests never have anything. There's one there, one there. As I've mentioned, once you've cleared one warehouse, there will be a trickle of land rats that will keep coming at you. It's not too intensive, but it is a few extra spawns over there. And the ambience that uh, are still there if you haven't yeah, cleared them. And that is the part where I've seen the what seems just lose a lot of health yeah. to the trail. Yeah. Here, the items spawn in the corner you can pick up from underneath. So, if you were to do the beams first, come under here, grab that. Item spawn next to it as well. Yeah, be careful with this bit. You can get pushed off there by Storm Vermin. Yeah. Now, before before we go in here... Yeah, you can snipe the ambience from here, but watch yeah. out. If you get too close to the the side there and go like on the, this railing here that goes slightly lower, you'll trigger the event even though you haven't yeah. dropped yet. Yeah. So if you want to snipe uh, ambience, you have to like stay. One thing back. I have to stress... There is a high road route here. Never take it. Take the es hide road. Especially with bots. Never yeah. ever take this route with bots, as You'll bots will invariably commit suicide on the drop. Yeah. Uh, so even if you're the on accepted your own, strat is to take this. Yeah, this is the first destruction. Oh, uh, anyone wonder? Yeah. You cannot do both warehouses at the same time, as the other one will close off while you're in. Yeah. One. The only way is to. It is possible with glitches, yeah. but yeah. that's not what we cover here. Yeah. So now this is what I'm talking about. If you come up here, you see that rat jump over? You do not take that path. Rats will spawn on your head, push you off, and you will wipe. Yes. So and you if you have here. bots, even worse yet, if you have bots, yeah. they will try to make the jump and always fail it, even if there are no yeah. rats there, and yes. then they'll hang on the ledge and also the... die. The chest in here, usually not useful, but there's very often supplies in it. Yeah. And on this, you should generally break the beam and then jump off there onto the stairs. So yeah, that room on down there where the soldier is is usually it's, not done to because then it's, it's kind yeah, of it can't be to escape trap. if you are. Uh... But there's another chest in there. Yeah, it is mostly it's mostly desperate, through. and it often has stuff in it. But yeah. it's when this warehouse closes, all the rats will die. Even if you see a bunch fly out, they will die. Item spawns. Yeah, chest. Wait. Yeah. By the way, as soon as someone drops off this, you'll get ambience back here. You're like completely safe until someone drops off. You can jump from there onto the barrel to check the item spot over there. Also, come and lock uh, spot. Yeah, and that's about it. Now all we have to do is melt an ogre and get on the ship. Usually, defending by ammo box, somewhat close oh, to the wall if you're not comfortable with the open area. Fucking hell. This assassin just, uh, nowhere. Yeah. Bolt stuff was letting us down. Yeah, it... So it's the pound wall up here, so... This wall is my best friend, usually. So, uh... Yeah. Let's see it die. Just go for it. It's not gonna last 10 seconds. Doesn't matter if it's early. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Baz. Don't look so frightened, 
Yeah, to be honest, I yeah, should have taken this for this purely for the um, beams. But just like in Wheaton Shop, you can replenish or change your weapon and the ammo here inventory. I've seen some cheeky true solos being done where someone took a weapon for one warehouse and another weapon for the other. <laughs> yeah. Free moonwalk. Yeah, this is a different uh, Ruber now, although he has the mace as well. Yeah, what if you have sword for this? And it's mostly mace, so I could control rats better at the well watch. Yeah. It's like all yeah, Krubers, it's the, the generic soldiers that come off a production line. <laughs> well, that's because the <laughs> salt is already taken. Yeah. To be honest, I still love the mace for crew, but it might not kill lots, but just chuck a horde at him and chuck a couple of fucking storm vermin in there and you're still locking them down. <laughs> 